local leaders are taking a stand against the Trump administration. Today, the San Diego City Council passed a resolution opposing the exclusion of transgender people from enlisting in the U.S. military. News 8's Kelly Hesedal is live outside City Hall tonight with reaction. Kelly? Yeah, and Barbara Lee and Carlo, uh, the city council making it very clear today. Uh, the vote was nearly unanimous that the council supports transgender, tr transgender, that is, troops in the military. I do find it imperative that the city of San Diego stand against this exclusionary policy. The San Diego City Council takes a stand and opposes the White House's policy that bans transgender people from serving in the military. The effects of this ban is something I hear about daily from our transgender and non-binary clients, where our lives are constantly under attack by this current administration. President Donald Trump announced the policy in 2017, arguing transgender soldiers are a distraction, and by banning them, the military can focus on its primary operations. After a lengthy court battle, the policy went into effect in April. Transgender soldiers already serving can remain in the military. However, anyone taking hormones or having received gender-affirming surgery cannot enlist in any branch of the military. Today, about a dozen people took turns at the podium, some military veterans. I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I'm 100% disabled for my service. I served during Don't Ask, Don't Tell. One person who spoke, just a teenager. My name is Keith, I'm 14, and male despite what my birth certificate says. When I first heard of the ban, I was shocked, angry and confused. Now I'm just hurt. Some held signs that read, we won't be erased. And in the end, the council voted. It was nearly unanimous. And that passes seven to one with Councilmember Sherman voting no and Councilmember Kate absent. Councilmember Chris Ward says the message this resolution sends is important. Diego, we have a lot of individuals who are uh, openly LGBT, who are proudly serving, and we want them to be able to be who they are and feel comfortable to be able to serve openly. And speakers uh, today pointed out the timing of this resolution is perfect with it being Pride Month and all of the Pride festivities coming up this weekend. Back to you. All right, Kelly, thank you.